So it's my anniversary today. It's been 37 years. I'm sitting in Hyderabad. Hubby is sitting in London. There's a five and a half hour difference between us. So he's only going to wake up at around 11.30 his time in the morning, by which time I'll be heading off for my event. After the event, there will be an official dinner. By the time I come back, he'll be heading off for his lunch. And so eventually, when we finally manage to connect, which will be at the end of the day, I will pick up the phone, hoping to hear something really romantic, and I will get... Why haven't you sent me your invoices for Bombay yet? Your accountant has called about this and I'm getting really fed up. And did you know that the prices of electricity have gone up so much? And chick, 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 chick. And I'm thinking, where are those romances that you see in the films where, you know, you've had a long day, you're feeling a little bit low. And just before you go to sleep, ting, tong, the doorbell rings, you open the door. And there is your partner standing there saying, I couldn't bear to be parted from you any longer. I've flown across the universe to be with you. Where are those romances? Who gets those romances? Bhaiya, hume to nahi mila. And so regularly on my anniversary, I end up wondering about relationships and what makes relationships tick. Is it the big grand gestures like these romantic gestures? Because they're very nice too. Or is it that even when you really, really want to kill them, you're still planning what to buy them for Christmas? I don't know what the answer is, but that's what's keeping my relationship going.